Last night got crazy. There's a segment of the market that needs to take a chill pill. They need to go outside and hunt some shit. Cat is a fun project made by serious Americans wanting to build some cool shit. Brand marketing is just noise. It can be fun, irreverent, or serious. Who cares? You like what you like. Who's to tell you otherwise? We have not called out one manufacturer or personality. We've called out certain forms for the sheer hypocrisy. Cat can be accused of grievous untruths, but if we defend and go at the culprits, it's off with our heads. Relax, enjoy life. Grab a drink, worry about the Russians coming to steal your children in the night. That's a joke. But there's a perfect storm brewing, and we came along in the middle. But if we are going to get pulled in, then in this life, go out standing up for something that's right. So let's kick this Friday off with some industry home truths. Forms. Please don't talk about Cat's lack of transparency and industry unity if your form has kicked us off like Arfcom and gloat about it. What war are you fighting? What rights are you defending? If you don't moderate your forums, then let them be free for alls and step out the way but to delete users that are a threat for any reason is a direct violation of free speech and you've lost your right to talk about any amendment rights if you can't even do the first. You allow cryptic accounts to attack cat because it serves a very simple purpose. Only your voice and position remains. This is about control, revenue generation, and retained market share of the civilian market. Having a closed forum that you are the kings of the world allow you to control agenda. The reality is though, the market is tired of it. You're like the woke crowd making 90% of the noise, yelling behind phone and computer screens, and the majority of the civilian market know it. Sound tech. The attacks on Pew Science are a disgrace. We've said it before and we'll say it again. We don't know Pew Science that well. And we've met Jay from the Jay situation once. These attacks on science, whether you understand the science or not, has happened elsewhere in history. If you want to have a sound summit, have it. But don't invite certain brands, certain retailers. Use one group of testing methods. Then preach transparency for the market because it's not transparency. It looks more like collusion to some. Did the civilian market give you a list of sound data points they want raw data for? No, you the industry stalwarts have decided Pew is an unmanageable threat, is bad for business and you get together and create your own standard. Actually do it but let's not pretend you're doing God's work, that you're saving the industry from Pew science. Difference between the Pew and what you're doing, you benefit by sales, Pew does not. Suppressors in 2023 are not designed just around sound, that's old thinking and only works with civilians. The complaints against suppressor manufacturers is not their sound quality, it's their production quality. For the transcript, CAT would absolutely send its 6mil representatives to any sound summit have our products tested head-to-head -head and have that raw data publicly released. We are not afraid of the suppression rating, we are not afraid of the sound summit, but you haven't removed the insanity in testing suppressors for just sound, whether it's the sound summit or Pew Science. Why is it if your data points are selected by the manufacturers themselves, this is any different to Pew Science? Same cart, different horse. Ket gives as much creditability to Pew Science's suppression rating as we would the Sound Summit. The data only matters to those who care about its importance, and it's isolated. But we did the suppression rating regardless because civilians asked. Brand. Personalities and brand noise have made the industry what it is and it shouldn't have been that way. Cat is a clear satire poke at sections of that part of this industry. It should be taken as a light-hearted joke. A let's not give them any noise until we see what they do. That isn't what has happened and that in itself is extremely interesting. The rabid denigration towards Cat is a sign of defense culture and the threat to some industry stalwarts. Certain people seem to be terrified of what Cat brings. The most outlandish things are being said. All Cat is is another civilian alternative. Every CAT team member is a proud American. Every operational team member has fought for this country at the razor's edge. Your attacks on CAT is a direct attack on American innovation. We don't need to put American flags on our t-shirts to prove our allegiance. Technology. Stop with this insanity that the manufacturers are all here playing nicely. Look at your own forums. You've never played nicely unless you've had to, like now. You patent and trademark to protect your intellectual property, because this gives you a financial advantage. You only want transparency to garner ideas that you couldn't develop yourself. There will be plenty of time to cut open cat products and try and work out the technology thinking, but we aren't going to help you do it. If a big part of the market likes what you make, keep making it. But other parts of the market want new innovation. Yesterday's hysteria is a perfect example. We come out with a better rating than a competitor on one product only. Some of you went nuts, saying things like, I told you it wasn't industry changing. Data is bought. It's only a little bit better. It was some laboratory's rating of one thing on our suppressor, who cares? We think the data is important, but never in isolation. Warranty. We told you we would give you a sneak peek and we wouldn't launch until October. 
Like everything, we were having an early laugh at industry warranties. It's an insane warranty where no one talks to you and honors nothing. It's a joke. However, there is a part of the civilian market that wants suppressor companies to honor all levels of failures and to not do so means the manufacturer doesn't want to take responsibility is what these consumers scream. A huge portion of civilian consumers do not understand pressures in firearms. Pressure can affect the zero of a round through a muzzle device. The pressure of ammunition affects the zero of a round. The suppressor design can affect the forces on the round. All these things can cause baffle strikes and end cap destructions. Manufacturers and the retailers want you to buy accessories whether they work or not with other products. And if the manufacturer says we'll only warrant our products, the market screams lack of ownership. Go strap an aftermarket supercharger to your new car and ask the local dealer to honor the manufacturer's warranty. Cat tests with only its products. Why should Cat warranty other manufacturers' products or consumers' mix and matching? Cat. We're American designed and made. The vast majority of our personnel have served this country, been injured in defense of this country, and continue to love this country, even in the current madness. We are not CGS, we are CAT. We believe in First and Second Amendment rights, we believe in fair competition, we believe defending our own, we have already a tremendous fan base of nice, smart people. We engage with them, answer questions, laugh, tease and have a good time. If you're a toxic troll designed to only destroy it, we'll take the same approach to you in return. In what world do you live that you think you can say whatever you like and everyone turns the other cheek? Unless you preach transparency, change your alias to your actual full name, turn off your no comment settings, otherwise you are a hypocrite. Cat isn't going anywhere. Kill Cat. It'll be back under another name. Through another manufacturer, different brand, different voice, different tech. You can't kill innovation, but it will get you eventually. You have the freedoms that you have because of some of the people behind the Cat project, so relax. Enjoy the ride and evolve.